Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Phoenix, Arizona with the uh, one, the only, Glenn the Dumbass Serio. Now, apparently, uh, Glenn and his sister uh, had a bit of a falling out and she called the police on him saying that he has mental issues. Well, he certainly does. I mean, just, well, listen to him. So he demands that the officers arrest her for committing a crime, for reporting him as a mental patient. Well, the officers don't uh, oblige him and they end up going away. But still, if you're in for some good old fashioned uh, Glenn Serio insanity, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, is she in there? Yeah. Okay. What's going on with you? She's still concerned. Uh, I don't know. She's... You, you tell me. What did she tell you? I don't know. I don't know. She's a little concerned about your mental health. She can be concerned about my mental health. I'm not... I don't have a problem. For those of you who are fairly new to the frauditing community, Glenn Serio was one of the top guys uh, in the uh, frauditing community until, well, he pretty much went batshit insane. Well, he was always batshit insane, but he got worse over time. And then he ended up in jail for a few days, and, well, he hasn't exactly been the same ever since. I mean, he's always been a narcissistic, sociopathic monster, which is what he's going to accuse us of his sister of being, but that's all just projection on his part. Do you want help from us? Do you want us to take you to any uh, psychiatric help? Nope. Any I don't need Nope. You don't need any of that? Nothing like that. What's your name? Uh, do I need to give you my name? You don't have to. I get it from your sister. I'd rather not give it to you. Okay. Fair enough. So? All right. Just, just to let you know, you can't live at the airport, okay? I'm not living at the airport. Okay. She Fine. said she's picking me up. She yep. lied, so... She's inside. Okay, but she's not picking me up, obviously, right? I, I don't know what her plan is. My other partner's talking to her. Okay, but if she lied to you, then that's a crime, right? No. It's not a crime to lie to a cop. No, not about that. Okay. Listen, are you having any thoughts of danger to Come yourself on. or others? Come on, man. Let's, let's, let's be honest here. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to like, hurt your feelings, but look, I have hair. I have a beard, okay? You don't have any hair. Just saying, like, do you... Do you like, if I approached a girl, do you think a girl would go out with me before you? Honestly. Honestly. Oh, Glenn, come on now. You really want to go that route? You think that being clean-shaven and uh, being bald is a personality defect that would detract from getting women or having success in your life? I mean, just look at this guy. This guy is Steve Wilkos. He started off in the Marines. He ended up as a police officer in Chicago, then he ended up being head of security for the Jerry Springer show, and then he ended up getting his own show. Look at this guy. This is Vin Diesel. So let's compare you and Vin Diesel. Now, side by side, what woman wouldn't want Vin Diesel over here versus your slovenly look? I mean, come on now, Glenn. You really should take some pride in your uh, appearance. I mean, you'd probably get better responses from people. I'm just being honest with you. Do you think that you could score a girl better than me? I have no idea. Okay, so so oh, why would I want to hurt myself? Hold on. I don't know. No, you. Have I ever met you? I don't care if you met me. You're you're going off some idiot that's telling you random shit. 
Wow, Glenn, calling your sister an idiot. Are you trying to burn your bridges with your family? Of course you are. I mean, you've been doing that for years. I mean, yeah, no wonder your family doesn't like you. And she's been sitting here for an hour telling me she's gonna pick me up. Hey, hold on, let me explain something. If, if, so, if you pointed out that guy and says he's thinking about hurting himself, uh -huh. I would go over and ask the guy, hey, are you having any issues? Can we help, hold on, can we help you? Are you thinking about hurting yourself? Are you thinking about hurting anybody else? Do you understand and, that that's a crime? And if he said no, I'd be on my way. That's okay. It. But you understand so that's you a good? crime what she did. Are you good? I'm perfectly fine. I have no problem. I have, wait, can I get your name and badge number? Who are you? My name is Chris Talley. Okay. 9012. Perfect. Are you are you familiar with YouTube? What? Are you familiar with YouTube? Yeah. Okay. TikTok you, too. You'll be on it. TikTok too. You will be on it. Okay. Sorry about your hair. Well, I guess haters gotta hate no matter how small the perceived defect. But Glenn, he carries it to the whole new level. Get away from me. I'm pressing charges. I'm pressing charges. That's a felony what you did. Why didn't you tell them I'm gonna hurt myself? Why did you lie? Yeah, you don't look like the police, unfortunately. No, but I have, I'm the one that has to make the phone call. I'm happy to do that if you'd like me to. You haven't made the phone call. What am I waiting here for? They already said they're going to make the phone call. I don't know what you're doing here. No, no, no. You uh. are to... Okay. okay. I don't have to help you. I guess she didn't make the phone call. No, she can't make the phone no, call. No, she seriously told them to make the phone call, and then she comes out here, so now we're not. Can I just tell me, direct me where the police station is? No idea. Okay. No idea. Oh, right. Well, we, we just wasted a lot of time here, so. Okay, sir, if you're asking for help, and then you're p pushing on against I'm sorry, I can't. I'm not asking for help. I'm asking for you to do your job and already do what I've asked. You idiot. Uh, my apologies, ma'am. Uh, Gold Glenn here was dropped on his head way too many times uh, when he was a child. So uh, his brains were scrambled, so he doesn't exactly know how to be uh, courteous to anybody. So, yeah, you'll have to overlook that part right there. I mean, he just doesn't know any better than that. I'll just find him on my own. Oh wow. You just want to right here? That I was pretty her. difficult. I, called yeah. I beg your pardon? I called him for it. Yeah, I already called him. Yeah, he made that extremely difficult earlier. I mean that was intensely difficult. Like I would just call them and you know, I didn't know why you had to make it so difficult. There was no difficult. It was thing. very difficult. The prospect people in the gray shirts don't have the ability they to They told do me it. they were gonna do it. No, they came to get me. Okay, that's not what they said. They said I'll take care of it, don't worry. Yes, I'm gonna call came, them. No, they came to get oh, me. Okay, well. Good thing we got video to prove the otherwise, right? <laughs> what is your problem? Well, that's a good question, ma'am. We can only speculate, though, on what his mental instabilities are. I mean, he's definitely a sociopath. He's definitely a total narcissist. I mean, he hates everybody and everything that's different from him. So, overall, it's not exactly well known what his issues are, so... We'll just still have to figure it out as we go along. I don't have a problem. You do. No, I do not. Yeah, because basically I'm going to advise the police that they take you off the premises and we're done. Are you traveling on American I, Airlines? You just crossed because he approached me earlier. We've been trying uh -huh. to get Boom. Boom, Boom shakalaka. Okay. So Boom, I got, shakalaka. So I got hundreds of people that are frazzled tonight. Okay. So where, where, were you traveling on American or Southwest? I don't need to tell you that. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm just trying to help you. I can't. You're not helping me. You're threatening me. You just threatened me. I'm going to report you to American. Okay. Glenn, uh, like everybody around here, she's more concerned about your mental stability. So she's going to tell the police about how you've been acting. That's not exactly a threat. That's more of a concern of, uh, of your mental health. Okay, you were right ahead, so let me give you my name and my badge number. Sure. Um, are you traveling? Are you trying, where are you trying to get? Where I think you... we're done here.
where they at? Should I wait out here? Because she told me not to be over there. I don't know what to, I, 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 I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I called the police and they're talking to her. She's nice, she's a good lady. Um. Well, first off, I didn't contact you the first time. So when you say, what, I, what do I need now? It would be actually the first time, so. Well, ARS, the law, Phoenix. What do you need from us? Can, what law to me? can I talk? What can I talk? Us? What do you need from us? I want to report my sister for falsifying a report. She didn't falsify any report. Okay. She's concerned for your well-being. Okay, well, she. And there is no false report. Oh, there's there. no report you take Okay, when you say someone's going to hurt themselves and they're not really going to hurt themselves, that's a criminal offense. No, it's not. ARS 13. It's not. Okay. Oh, Glenn, could you narrow that down just a tad? Because ARS 13 consists of over 30 chapters of law. So please do us all a favor and at least, at least uh, when you try to quote a law, get more specific than that. She never said you were going to hurt yourself. Sure she did. It's on video. video. Come on, guys. You guys were recorded. For, for Come on. She what? She was the one talking to your sister. Okay. She was concerned for your welfare. Uh -huh. Why? I don't know. She didn't really give us information. And those okay. are the basic questions we ask everybody. If you're thinking about... No, no. Them, she she told... me. Those are the questions we ask everybody if they're a danger. Can, can I talk? Can I talk? What do you need from us? File a police report. No, that's not going to happen. Okay. Us. Oh, if it's not going to happen, I'll leave. Okay. I'm out of here. Uh, I hope your hair lip gets fixed. I really hope it does. I'm sorry, man. I really hope it does. That's called inbreeding. Uh, Glenn, you really have no idea what true inbreeding is. In fact, my for my audience, I suggest you take a look at the Whitaker family from West Virginia. I'll leave a link in the description box below for them. Uh, that's rather interesting alone. But back to Glenn. I suppose he won't be uh, eating at the family dinner table anytime soon. I mean, his family probably wants nothing to do with him. I mean, his sister tried to give him an olive branch, and what do you do? He slapped it away and treated her like crap. But hey, that's par for the course for this imbecile. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.